Uh-huh. What's up, Julio? Uh, just as far as you coming along and, and you know having the impact that you want to have, uh, what are some of the things that that you and Tannehill, AJ, you know, Coach Rob Moore, Coach Downing, everybody, what is what is going on as far as like trying to increase that impact that that you could have? For myself, um, man, I take the game, you know, as they give it to me. Um, you know, defensive coordinators, are they going to try to take me away? I just go out there and just do my job to the best of my ability. You know, if it's blocking, it's blocking. You know, um, if they're going to give me opportunities to have one-on-ones and things like that, um, I have the most confidence um, that Ty is going to do his thing. And not only that, man, but uh, Tannehill, I mean, phenomenal quarterback, you know, um, can deliver the ball and, and make it any throw. So, Jim Wyatt. Hey, Julio, since you joined this team, it's now won the AFC South on the verge of maybe clinching the number one seed if you take care of business this week. Mm-hmm. What is this kind of uh, uh, what you envisioned when you came here? What did you like maybe most about the, the team that's around you? Um, absolutely. Um, you know, the whole the, the whole thing here is um, even with the fan base, you know, um, it just, it's definitely a football city um, here. Um, Coach Braves, um, all the coaches around. Um, you know, does a tremendous job. Um, the players, everybody just buys in and, you know, understanding um, no job is too big or too small, right? Um, each and every week to go out there and uh, perform and, and be accountable. Um, and that's that's one of the things too, though, that I love here is everybody just, you know, doing their job and, you know, coming together to, you know, ultimate goal is, you know, winning games and putting ourselves in position to be where we at today. Kayla. Yeah, Julio, uh, I obviously understand you guys have one more game to go, and AJ was just saying how important the focus has been this week Mm -hmm. uh, in the facility, just taking care of business against Houston. Um, But with the playoffs on the horizon, is it exciting to know that you guys are getting healthy, getting bodies back on the offensive side of the ball? And how excited are you personally just to to have this battle in the playoffs this year? Um. Like you said, um, I'm not really looking for like I'm not thinking about the playoffs as of right now, right? Um, we do definitely have to handle business. Like AJ said, we have laser focus right now um, for Houston. Um, that's our you know main goal, the main priority right now. Um, just focusing on on those guys and just taking care of business, the handling business. Um, the head's not in the barn. Um, we're not completely done yet. We got to come in, tweak some things probably tomorrow, and then after Sunday we go. Um, but then, I mean, you can ask me that question next week or whatever, then I can talk to you about the playoffs moving forward. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Terry. Julio, being in and out of the lineup with the hamstring and then with COVID, has, has this been a frustrating season for you? And how much do you hope to, in, in the games that remain, to be able to, you know, put something together and, and do something big, do something big for this team? Um, for me, uh, I'm not, I never get frustrated. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, right? Um, and my ability to make plays and things like that. So my whole thing is this, like everybody, you know, knows what I can do and different things like that or whatever it is, right? Talent-wise or whatever the case may be. But me, who I am as a person, as a player, is what can I do with my job on any particular game, right? If it's going out there catching you know, 300 yards, two, three touchdowns, whatever the case may be, having that ability to do that. But also I can go out there and have one catch or two catches and block my tail off for my team. Like, as long as we're successful and I'm putting us in a place to win the game. So people always look at, like, you know, stats and this this and that. Um, I don't play the game for stats and I never have. Um, I have the stats, but I never played the game for stats. My whole thing is coming together collectively having 11 guys, you know, going out there and doing their job on that one particular play to make it successful. Yo, Rex Road. Julio, what has it been like this week to have uh, Derek back out there? What, what, what does that do? Just even before he plays a snap yet, you know, even psychologically for this team, for this team's confidence. Um, When you get guys coming back and, and, and just being around, you know, um, it just lights up everyone. Um, just knowing that you have you have the ability to have everybody back, right? So um, it just feels amazing. Like from my from my perspective, of just having him out there and just seeing him take snaps and moving around um, for me 
it's like, you know, and we all know what he can do and what he brings to the to the team. So um, it's very exciting. Um, but as of, as of right now, you know, that's it. Couple more for you, Paul. Well, Leo, I understand what you're saying about your willingness to do what it takes. But do you think they right. traded what they traded and they're paying you what they're paying you for mm -hmm. nine catches, nine catches over eight games? Um, it's all about opportunity, you know, um, within games and different things like that. Um, if I'm if I'm not the read, I'm not the read. You know, you don't want to go out here and force things to people or do things like that. We get out of character, right? So like the whole thing is it's, it's a team sport, regardless of what I'm getting paid or whatever the case may be, it's, it's, it's never that, nor do I play the game to think like that. You know what I'm saying? That's one of those things where people talk about, well, we need to see this, we need to see that, but you don't know what type of people are. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to have a guy who can perform, but you don't trust, or you, or you don't know what you're going to get out of that guy, right? So my whole thing is, I'm here and I'm, I'm and I'm available to, you know, like I said, if this needs to be a that type of game or this type of game, um, I'm all for it. So you're on. And just kind of with that, uh, Coach Downing said that, it, you know, there are plays that he's calling where you are the first read or AJ is the first read. But mm. you know, obviously, because of defense is Tannehill may go away from it. How are you guys just like, are you guys? getting together more or trying to do some things just to better get on the same page so you could have that impact statistically, you know, receiving wise? Um, you, man, you know, like you go into games, like I said, like you, we can draw where we want to draw, but if the defense say, okay, we want to take this guy away, they're going to try to take me away. And why force me opportunities in the ball? And we just got, we got guys just as good on the other side that can make plays. You know what I'm saying? So like it's it's one of those things. So like we, I mean, if the defense is doing this, like we're not gonna go against what they what they doing. You know what I'm saying? But um. Last question, Ben Arthur. Julio, you had been on uh, the the COVID list um kind of just a a bit ago. I was wondering if if you did test positive, what kind of your experience was like with, with that, and then just now where, where you feel like you're at um, conditioning yeah. wise coming back? Um, yes, my COVID was, I mean, it was quick um, in and out. I probably had two days, maybe a symptoms, a little cough here and there, but that was it. The first day was kind of like, um, I had a little body aches, um, head pressure. Um, and then the coughing came like the second day and stuff like that. And I was just having a little coughing and a little head pressure. But after that, I was completely fine. Uh, my condition is, is well. Um, I always stay moving around, um, doing little exercises and different things like that. And even last week, um, I ran and stuff like that. So I was I, I stayed ahead of the curve with not letting my lungs, you know, um, get away from me.